If you had to eat nothing but poop or drink nothing but pee, which one would you choose? You have to choose one. If you won't choose, it's because you are too cowardly to engage with completely valid and possible hypothetical scenarios in the marketplace of ideas. And that means you're wrong and I'm right. Didn't you know? On a more serious note, I'm sure most people have seen this clip by now. LGBTQ rights or economic stability? Why can't you have both? You need to pick one. I refuse the question. You can't refuse the question. I do. But you can't. But I did. But you need to pick one. No, I don't. I just said you did. <laughs> so what? Can you pick one? Uh, no, because they're both doable. No. Only <laughs> one. I don't have to pick one because you can have both. But the answer is, both is not an answer. It's not a valid answer. I reject your question. You can't reject it. I just did. Can you pick one? I don't have to. Why? Because they're both completely doable. So LGBTQ rights or economic stability? Both. That's not an answer. Yes, it is. LGBTQ rights or economic stability? Both. This guy is an absolute king. One of my modern day heroes along with the glorious Jack Smith. It's funny how the video tries to make fun of him with his arm movements and body shape. But it comes off really poorly because, well, it's dumb and in bad taste in the first place, but the guy is also such a king who owns the situation and is obviously completely correct. LGBTQ rights or economic stability? Why can't you have both? Why not both? So, a lot of conservatives have been melting down over this. For example, Atomic Denny, a genuine Nazi, tweeted, quote, Refusing to answer a hypothetical question because you're too afraid to say the wrong thing isn't debating. Rejecting premise because you don't like it isn't intelligent. If you're praising this guy, you're in a cult for stupid people, end quote. Um, I reject that premise. First of all, it's interesting how Denny, whether deliberately or not, misunderstands why the guy refused to answer, which I think is indicative of his conservative brain rot. In his mind, the woke mind virus is this big, scary, authoritarian thing, uh, so he assumes that the guy refused to answer for fear of looking bad. When, if I place myself in that situation, the reason I'd refuse to answer is not to not look bad, but because I can see the game. How this is an attempt at making anti-LGBTQ propaganda with a fundamentally flawed hypothetical premise. Hypotheticals can be a great way to make political or philosophical points, but not all hypotheticals are equal. They have to make sense and should not involve magical thinking, for starters. They also shouldn't be rooted in right-wing fear-mongering about the downfall of Western civilization. You know, the fascist obsession with degeneracy and how feminism, immigration, and LGBTQ rights are undoing the glory of our white Western civilization. Somehow. At its core, the hypothetical premise that you can either have a good economy or LGBTQ rights is rooted in exactly that type of Nazi delusion. The premise doesn't make sense, does involve magical thinking, and is just meant as a gotcha. There's no political or philosophical merit to it. In fact, the premise is so foundationally flawed and rooted in conservative dogma that the only sensible answer is to reject the premise. That's what makes the guy in the video so goddamn cool. He immediately recognized that the hypothetical scenario presented to him was not just stupid, but deliberately constructed to elicit responses the right can use as propaganda against LGBTQ people. The conservative who posed the question wants responses to which he can either go, look, look how crazy the left is, or see, even the left agrees that LGBTQ rights are going too far. It doesn't matter if it's disingenuous or fabricated. The right will lie about anything and everything 
in its desire to oppress and remove those they deem as undesirables, you know, such as LGBTQ people. As was pointed out to Atomic Denny, the reason why this hypothetical premise doesn't deserve respect is because it is obviously a false dichotomy. In the same way that you have to choose between inhaling and exhaling is a false dichotomy. Like the cool debate god guy in the video said, we can do both and there's no reason we can't. Atomic Denny, smart as he is though, refused to accept the premise that this was a false dichotomy. He refused the premise, even though it is a textbook case of a false dichotomy. He even accused his debate opponent of sounding smart, the horror. What he doesn't understand is that a good hypothetical is logically consistent and, you know, possible in the real world. A false dichotomy like this isn't a good hypothetical. It's just juvenile schoolyard behavior that is fine for 10-year-olds to engage in, but not adults. It's fine for children to go, Haha, Would you rather eat nothing but poop or drink nothing but piss? Because they're children, and children are sometimes childish, appropriately so. But for adults engaging in serious political discussion, it really isn't appropriate. Then again, homophobia and transphobia aren't appropriate either, whether for children or adults. And the scenario in the video is obviously meant to be a trap to get people to either throw LGBTQ people under the bus, or agree that LGBTQ rights would hurt the economy somehow, you know, hypothetically. Anyway, thanks for watching this quick tribute to a cool guy, the debate god. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You can do, well, not both, because that's three things. But you can do all three. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. Any and all help is greatly appreciated. Finally, I'd like to wish you all a belated Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and see you all in 2024.